I'm pretty good. How you doing? Yeah, man. All good. All popping. So, Willie Will from California, man. Tell us about you, man. Man, well, I've been doing music for about maybe like over 20 years. And, uh, you know, I used to do the secular stuff. I gave my life to the Lord in 2006. So I've been doing, you know, Christian rap ever since. Yeah, nice one, man. So 20 years in the biz, that's uh, that's quite a time. So how, how much of that time has been secular and how much of it has been Christian? Um, Let me see. Maybe about half, half and half. Because I think I started rapping about maybe like 95 96, yeah, so, and then I left to God in 2006. I didn't start recording music until about 2008 because I wanted to make sure that my relationship with God was, was uh, you know, I had a good relationship with God first before I jumped into the music again. That's yeah. cool, man. And that, have you always been on the West Coast? Yeah, I've been uh, born and raised in Merced all my life in California. Oh, man, so what's it what's it like in the in the music scene in California at the moment? Oh, man, it's, it's pretty good. You know, there's a lot of uh, up-and-coming artists, you know, around here, a lot of... Uh, even in my own city, there's a lot of artists, a lot of talented people, you know, and, um, you know, I just like to hear about, you know, people, what they're doing next, everyone's doing, uh, making moves and everything, you know, there's a lot of talent out here. What you got coming up for us tonight, are these tracks that we're playing, um, Christ Like Jesus Says, Princess Jasmine, what are they, what are they from? Are these the old tracks? Yeah, I did these songs uh, in 2014, as I, when I dropped my solo album, um, it's called Living in the Last Days, <clears throat> and um, it's been doing really well, you know, and... Uh, it seems like it keeps getting better with time. You know, people listen to it. Like, people get introduced to it today, and it's, you know, people get excited about it, like if it was made, you know, yesterday. So, praise God, you know, it's, it's really making an impact on people. There's a lot of people that are coming up to me and telling me how it's really helping them to make a positive change in their life, you know, and, you know, I'm really grateful for that. Praise God. And, and you know, I'm, I'm going to start working on some new music uh, pretty soon. I'm already getting beats together right now. Nice one, man. And do you have a, a date set or like a theme set for your next project? Um, no, not 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 really yet. Um, I'm thinking it might take about maybe like a little less than a year to to get it all done. Um, you know, I just always want to do something different. You know, like with the beats and with the you know with the raps and everything. I want to try to push myself to the next level and just really um, just try to be different than everybody else. Yeah, man. I think that's probably the hardest thing to be in it. Like trying to be original and and do your own thing and then set yourself apart from everyone else. That's probably the hardest thing for most artists to accomplish, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what's your What's your name, mean, man? Like, Willie Will. Is that just like Is that just your name? Or is that something? Um. Yeah, it's just a nickname. Yeah, Willie Will. Cause my <clears throat> my government name is Willie Felix. Yeah, so yeah, it's just a nickname when I rap is Willie Will. Nice one, man. Was that your nickname before as well? Like when you're in the secular scene? No, I actually went by a different name when I was in the world. Ah, man, we don't we don't want to talk about that. And anyway. you you're here and now, man. That's that's what counts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah, man. So what's the what's the kind of um, theory for your next project that you're doing then? What's your What's your motivation behind it? Because, I mean, obviously, this one we're looking at now, these three tracks come from, what you said, like 2014, 2015. So, I mean, it's been quite a while since you've done something new. Is it? Have you yeah. been doing, like, singles and stuff in between? Um, sometimes I record, like, because uh, I got other people that record with me, like my brother, he does music. Sometimes I'll get on songs with him or other people. Um, but, yeah, I just, I don't know, I don't really have a theme. I guess uh, I just want to just reach the people, you know. I just want to just reach the people and, you know, I want to see what God can do. You know, to impact this world, you know, whatever. If he can use me, you know, I'll let him use me any way he wants to. Yeah, man, that's real. And um, you got a daughter, yeah. right? Like, presumably, does she, like, support you and your music? Does she like the music that you do? Yeah, she she does. Actually, the song you just played, she was rapping on the hook. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and, um, yeah, she, she does a couple songs with me. Like, uh, she's on my album. She sings and she raps. And, uh, yeah, she, she really... Um, she really likes it, you know, and, and it feels good when I hear her like walking around the house rapping my my lyrics. <laughs> yeah, I bet yeah. it does, man. Does she does she actually yeah. rap for like uh you know she just doing it for fun or she's trying to get into it? Um, I think she's really trying to get into it too. She wants to do a solo album. Um, yeah, because because I just rap, but she can rap and sing, and she wants to do a solo album. And and um, I told her, you know, yeah, go ahead and do it. I just told her, you know, it's a lot of hard work, but I support her 100. percent Yeah, for sure, man. I tell her to send the music here first. I'll play it. Yeah, that's cool. awesome. Yeah, man. So, um, yeah, man, that was cool. Is that the last record, Princess Jasmine? Is that about her or is that not about her? Yeah, that's about her. Yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> I just want to double check. Yeah. That's yeah. cool, man. So you made a, a track about your daughter, man. That's that's dope. Yeah. Oh, man, what's the scene like in uh, in in Merced, where you're at? Is it is it um like you're part of a church or something there? Yeah, I go to New Life Apostolic Church in Merced. Yeah, I've been going there for a while now. Yeah, I really love it there, and um, you know. Um, we're really starting to, um, right now we're getting into spiritual warfare. Yeah, we're trying to just really um, reach, the, reach the city of Merced because 
there's a lot of going on in Merced right now, a lot of, you know, crime and things like that. A lot of people hooked on drugs, and, you know, I'm pretty sure how it is all over the world. You know, we just want to really, you know, be prayed up and really get to where we need to be in God so we can really make an impact. Yeah, man. I mean, is it, what's the Merced, California like then? Is it, I mean, does your church support your music and allow you to minister to them in that way? Yeah, they do. Yeah, my my pastor, he, he supports it. You know, we've rapped at the church a few times, and, um, yeah, I, I actually, um, I texted my pastor um, yesterday to pray for me, and, you know, he said he'll, he said he'll pray for me. Yeah, they really do support it. There's there's uh, some people that have different views on Christian rap, but for the majority of people, they, they really they like it a lot. Yeah, man. What do you think about the the mainstream, well, yeah, I'd say the mainstream guys who are the Christian, like, kind of breaching across into secular. What do you, what do you think about that? I mean, I'm really, I'm really proud of a lot of the Christian rap guys that are really getting out there on a, on a worldwide scale. But like for myself personally, like I wouldn't make songs with the with the secular artists. I got nothing but love for them. You know, I just, I just couldn't, you know, mix darkness and light. You know, but I, but I really, I love everybody and I pray for everybody. I'm no better than ever, anybody else. You know, but like for me, like I would love to 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 get to that large scale to reach more people. Yeah, but I would not want to compromise and, and you know. If, uh, if I feel it in the Holy Ghost to do so, then, then I will. But if not, you know, I just want to follow the leading of God. Yeah. I mean, I was going to say, it's probably a good thing if you do it with a secular person, because in some ways you could reach more of a bigger crowd, maybe. And then your side of the music is possibly could be the kind of opener to them starting their life with Jesus. And also the the person you're doing the collaboration with, they might become a Christian from kind of working with you, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard other artists uh, mention that. So, yeah, that's definitely something to, to think about. Yeah, man. But for what you said as well, it's dope. You just want to do the Lord's calling, man. That's that's all good. That's, yeah. the, that's the number one thing, isn't it, really? Yeah. All right, man. So um, I want to get into your next track, man. And it's uh, Jesus Saves. Do you want to tell us a bit about it and introduce it? Yeah, um, this song right here. I wrote this song because I was um, just thinking about cause this is kind of like a, one of the most important like lyrics that I've ever written so far because I just wanted to stress the importance of, of uh, your soul and how having your soul saved is more important than, than anything else in this world. You know, it's good to prepare for all these things in life. You know, it's a really good thing, but you got to, you know, make sure you prepare for where you're going to spend eternity. So that's where this, the motivation for this song came from. <laughs> 